Hey, what is up everybody, Epitome here, and today I got another CSGO video for you guys, and as suggested in one of the comments, people wanted a tip video for lurkers, so here are some 5 tips that I have for lurkers, and just to help you guys out, and kind of give you more of a grasp on lurking, and just knowing what you need to know. So, the first tip that I have is know the pace of the game, so depending on your lurking style, and depending on how fast the game is going, you want to you always want to know the pace of the game, you want to know how fast the other team's rotating, you want to get an idea of how fast uh, your team is taking sites and causing the rotates, or how fast the other team is going to rotate, or even how slow they're going to rotate, and you really want to play off of that, because you can say the game's moving a little bit slower than what you think so say your team gets like a pick on a or something and no one on b has rotated yet and then you go and try and catch the rotators when they haven't even rotated and you're dead so you definitely want to know the pace of the game and the second tip that I have for you guys is never pre-plan your route. So never plan out what you're going to do when the game starts or like you could have an idea of what you want to do, but don't pre-plan everything because it's not going to work like that. That's not how lurking works. You have to go off of the tempo of the game. You have to feel the tempo of the game. You have to um, ba build pretty much build your route off of the way your team is going so say your team decides to push cat on dust 2 and your lower tons gonna catch guys mid when they rotate then you're screwed if they die cat and that's all you had for you know that round and that's what your plan was for that whole round and then you don't have anything else so you never want to plea pre-plan your route based off of like your team and things like that you really want to base it off of how the game is going the next tip that i have for you guys is always change positioning and timing so say if you are your team's going a they take a you know you're trying to catch the rotators from b so say one round you push out tons and onto b site and then shoot them in the back as they're rotating mid well you don't want to do that again because they will have an idea that that could happen they know in the back of their heads that that could happen so one might stay beh behind while the other guy rotates or they both just might lag a little bit and stay farther behind and then so what you want to do from there is rather than doing that the next round you want to go mid and catch them mid double doors when they're going through ct or trying to go cat so you always want to change your positioning and you always want to change your timing even if you're say your top mid and you're um they're pushing cat they're rotating from b on to cat and they're gonna go cat and try and take a from your team well you can sit there and you can wait as long as you call it out you can wait for them and then you can slowly push behind them and then kill them while they're distracted by your team or you can kill them as they're pushing up cat so you definitely want to change your timing of what you want to do and when then the next tip that i have for you guys is know the style you want to play there's two types of styles when it comes to lurking there's um a passive lurk and and then there's like an aggressive lurk so the passive lurk i mean does exactly what i explained they wait for the rotates you know they wait to catch the guys off guard they wait for that opening you know so say if your team's pushing cat and then you're just sitting long and you're waiting for that guy to rotate from long and try to go cat and then you kill that guy long that's i mean that's passive lurking you're just waiting for the rotates to happen and you're waiting for them to run into you now when it comes to aggressive lurking that's when your team might be trying to take um a site on dust 2 and then you're on b but you're not waiting for the rotates you're actually peeking you're actually trying to get the picks and you're playing aggressive you're keeping them on the site rather than keep letting them rotate or you can be trying to find that opening and get that opening pick for that site and take that site and your team can rotate from a to b so there's definitely two types of ways and you want to really figure out which one works well with your team you can have one that works really well with your team and one that works really bad with your team so you definitely need to know your own team's play style as well as you know the other teams and the tempo of the game and everything now the last tip that i have for you guys just like any other role you always want to practice and you watching demos and things like that you know practicing with your team you know watching demos at the other team if you can or even just uh watching pro players play your position i mean there's so many like pov videos and stuff like that that you can find on youtube of 
you know, someone playing, a pro player playing your role, and you can go ahead and watch that and improve on your role by doing so. So just practice, watch demos, watch pro players play, and that's really the five tips that I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys out a little bit. I know I can't really talk, and I probably sound pretty stuffy. That's because I'm still sick, still getting over sick, being sick, and uh, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Epithemy, and I'll catch you guys next time. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave a like. If you always want to see more, definitely be sure to subscribe. Make sure you check out the links that I have down in the description. If you guys always want constant updates, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Epithemy, and I'll catch you guys next time.